Recently, I've had a few friends' dogs die. Tula, she's getting older. Getting older. Which has me thinking, what can I do to prevent these more serious diseases? There are many reasons why our dogs die, but it really varies by age and breed. I'm going to show you what the top nine causes are amongst the different dog breeds, and more importantly, what you can do to prevent this from happening to your dog. Are you looking to learn more about natural pet health and wellness? You've come to the right place. Click the link to subscribe to Veterinary Secrets. These are the 10 most common causes. Number one, not a surprise to most of you, it's cancer. The breeds most likely to die of cancer are Golden Retrievers, Boxers, Bouviers, Bernese Mountain Dogs. It can affect any dog, any breed. It is the most common cause of death in our dogs over the age of 10. What can you do to decrease the likelihood of your dog getting cancer? More than anything, it's died. If you're feeding kibble, you want it to be a good quality kibble, but you really want to be feeding far less kibble. Supplementing that kibble with a high quality protein, I eat chicken. A great option, the prepackaged frozen raw. This isn't Tula's sole diet, but I supplement the kibble with it. No further vaccines. Most dogs over the age of three, in my opinion, they need no further vaccines. I see a clear correlation between cancer and over vaccination. Then additional supplements to decrease the likelihood of cancer, like essential fatty acids found in krill or fish oil. Add in a good quality probiotic supplement or even just whole yogurt. They make up over 80% of your dog's immune system. Beneficial nutrients such as antioxidants, flavonoids, we know these have been shown to decrease the likelihood of cancer. A good quality dog supplement such as mine, it includes essential fatty acids, probiotics, antioxidants, flavonoids. Number two, gastrointestinal disease. Gastrointestinal disease is the most common cause of death for Great Danes, Akitas, Sharpays. For Great Danes, that would be bloat. And this is where the stomach will dilate with air and then twist. Prevention in part includes diet, you know, feeding less kibble that produces so much gas, more of an animal based protein like this. Some pet parents have found digestive enzyme supplements can help. Then the use of home remedies such as activated charcoal to decrease gas production. Number three, respiratory disease. Respiratory disease is the most common cause of death for bulldogs, Afghans, Vizlas. Bulldogs come genetically with difficulty breathing. They've got these modified faces, hence they're at much higher risk of respiratory disease. Prevention includes ensuring they stay at a proper weight, that they get adequate exercise, but you're really conscious of heat stroke, never exercising your dog in any type of heat. Then considering natural anti-inflammatory such as this, the 95% curcumin. Number four, heart disease. The most common type of heart disease, mitral valve insufficiency, we're most thinking about then the smaller breeds, the Chihuahuas, Maltese, the Poodles. Then we have other types of heart disease such as DCM, dilated cardiomyopathy, affecting up to 10% of all Newfies. Then you're thinking supplements to prevent heart muscle damage, potentially help build up that heart muscle. The essential fatty acids, they've been extensively studied for heart disease. Every dog who's at risk of heart disease, they should be on a good quality EFA supplement. This ubiquitous antioxidant, coenzyme Q10, really important for animals with heart disease. And if you have a dog at risk, it's just a good idea to get your dog on this. Then our breeds at risk of DCM, think about an additional supplement in the form of taurine. Ultimate Canine Advanced, it now comes with additional taurine. Number five is musculoskeletal disease, i.e. diseases such as hip dysplasia. It's the most common cause of death for St. Bernard's, Great Pyrenees, Irish Wolfhounds. You want to ensure that your dog is on a good quality joint support supplement, including glucosamine, chondroitin, MSM. And you're not just using veterinary painkillers such as Medicam, you're considering some of the alternatives such as this CBD cannabidiol. Number six, neurologic disease such as intervertebral disc disease. Degenerative myelopathy. It's the most common cause of death for the dachshunds, the miniature pinchers. It was just so common in practice to see dachshunds with their long backs to come in with herniated discs. It's important that these dogs, that they stay active and they maintain a proper weight. You can help keep the discs spongy and soft, decreasing the chance of herniation with a good quality joint support supplement, including glucosamine, chondroitin, MSM. There's research showing that 95% curcumin can be beneficial for intervertebral disc disease. Number seven, urogenital disease, i.e. those of the urinary tract. The Scotties, the Westies, the Airedales, they're most likely to die of this. The Scotties and Westies, they can commonly get a type of bladder cancer, the squamous cell carcinoma. Prevention includes ensuring that your dog stays well hydrated, that they don't have toxins concentrating in their bladder, i.e. from some of the poor quality dog foods and this may decrease the likelihood of bladder cancer. One option I encourage you to think about is CBD, the cannabidiol. Eight, nine, and 10, these are the most common causes of death in our younger dogs. 
Number eight, we have congenital diseases, diseases that your dog was born with. These are the most common cause of death for the Newfies, the Bulldogs, the Akitas. For the Newfies, this would include a condition called SAS or subaortic stenosis. The aorta is the big main vessel leading your heart, pumping the blood throughout the rest of the body. In this condition, there's an area of that aorta, that big vessel, which is becoming very constricted. There's going to be evidence of a heart murmur. It's difficult for the heart to pump properly. Supplements would include nutrients to support the heart, the EFAs, the coenzyme Q10. Veterinary treatments include vasodilators. These are things that make it easier for the heart to pump, but Hawthorne, it's a natural vasodilator. Number nine, this is trauma. And this would be the most common cause of death in our younger dogs. All it takes is your dog to slip his leash, he gets hit by a car. Just knowing that, just do what you can to try and keep your dog safe, especially in that first year of life. I.e., you're anywhere near a road, your dog is on a leash. Number 10, infectious disease. This is going to be applying to these really young dogs that have no vaccines. The most common serious infectious disease that's affecting your young dogs, parvovirus. And I did see dogs die in practice from parvo. It's one of the two vaccines I advise giving your dog as a pup. Canine distemper virus, canine parvovirus, vaccinating your dog at 8 and 12 weeks. But after that first year of life, there's virtually no chance of them dying of infectious disease. If your dog is one of the breeds I discussed, I just encourage you to be aware of these conditions. It may be that your dog is born with some really difficult to treat congenital disease, but do what you can to hopefully and ultimately prevent them from getting it or getting the serious secondary consequences in the first place. There isn't one magic supplement, there isn't one magic pill, but there are things that you and I can do to decrease the likelihood of our dog getting its diseases, i.e. number one on the list, cancer. And I'll also put a link to that article which highlighted all those different conditions and also ranking the specific dog breeds. Thanks so much for watching this edition of Veterinary Secrets, the most common causes of death in our dogs. Click up there to subscribe, hit the bell to sign up for notifications, then when you click that link directly in the box below, I can send you a copy of my free book.